Welcome back to more Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. So, this is the armor I've decided we are going with. For Honest Hearts. Also, we are bringing sunglasses and First Recon Brett because... Now we look like Boone! Except I'm bringing... I'm bringing these because they are light, and everything has its own startup quest of sorts where it strips you of stuff. This one, it limits you to 75 pounds of gear that you get to bring with you. You, do, you, you two have names. You must be important. You two do not. You must not be. You look like you're from a vault. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Unwarranted hostility and general agitation. How long have you been a psycho addict? Hey, hey, hey! Fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using psycho! How much psycho you got stashed away? If you ran out on the trail, the withdrawal's not pleasant. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using psycho. But, uh, just talking hypno-theoretically here. Got any suggestions? Yeah, leave now, before the withdrawal hits you out on the trail. Fine. You win, asshole. Enjoy le Uh, actually, we want him with us. Oops. As I said, this is a blind run. I've basically, the last time, I just talked to the guy, made it to the other side, because every expansion takes you to a new place. You looking for trouble? Yeah, I'm gonna skip back to where we are. I can sell you a dose of fixer, but it won't be cheap. Fixer? Never said I wanted to kick the habit. Guess I can use it when I run out of the good stuff. How much? 80 caps. That much for a dose? Fucking robbery! Alright, here's your money. Don't spend it all in one place. I see you're wearing a pit boy in a vault suit. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy in a vault suit. So what? What do you use your pit boy for? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Did you notice I'm wearing a pit boy too? Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. I don't think your pit boy works. I better go tell Jed. Go ahead. Your word against mine, fucko. See what happens. Never mind. Keep living the d dream. That's right. Stick your nose where it don't belong, and it's gonna get stung. Look, this is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after anyways? Carry some of my gear and I'll keep my mouth shut. I travel light on purpose, okay? But fine, I'll tell Jed I'm carrying less so you can carry more. What an asshole. Where'd you get the vault suit? Where the fuck you think? Vault 2-2. That's where I grew up. I've heard of some strange going on at Vault 22. Know any details? I know everything. I know all about it. But I ain't about to tell the likes of you. I have a sworn vow of secrecy, or something like that, to the people I left behind. You're lying. You've never been to Vault 22. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. You caught me. I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got this suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. You do anything here, here besides talk too much? You want to know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see? 
and done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, hell yeah, I'm a fucking storm of death. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead-eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead-Eye Ricky. That's my name. Dead-Eye, huh? How'd you get that nickname? Uh, how you think. I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three death jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. Imagine that. But I didn't panic. Because, because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the eye. Death jaws, huh? Did you mean to say death claws? No, no. You heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death claws, but bigger teeth. Or there was the time one of them Steel Brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. Last mistake he ever made. You're saying that you killed a Brotherhood of Steel paladin. What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, I said it. I was walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun, and bam, bam, right through the eye slit in his helmet. DOA. Too bad there's no such thing as an 11 millimeter submachine gun. There so is. Or was it a 9 millimeter? Or a 10? I don't know. Don't care. Said I was good at killing shit up. Never said I was good with numbers. Do you have any other skills or abilities? Well, I grew up near Dayglow out west, so yeah. I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. <laughs> And if he was a woman, or not if he was a woman, if we were a woman, we could tell him, wow, or he would tell us, I'll, I'll drop trow for you in the middle of the night. At which point we can tell him, well, thanks, but I didn't bring my microscope and tweezers. Goodbye. Yeah, whatever. So at this rate, if we get as many speech checks off Stella as we did off Ricky, we'll level up before we leave. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. What are you doing here? Earning my keep, Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. What was that like to grow up in New Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Tell me about Kalinta. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Were the 80s a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. 
Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. What do you know about the White Lakes? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Okay, goodbye. So, yeah, we're like ten minutes in and I haven't done anything. If this was back to normal time length, um, we would have got nothing done this part. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Wait a minute, I recognize you. Yeah, you're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. Mm, okay, let's do it. Zion, here we come. Just like that, huh? <laughs> you got guts. I'll give you that. You sure you want to jump in blind? Ain't got no questions about where we're going or why? Alright, let's go. I'm actually, you know, what can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion. And they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Mmm... You don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Do you know anything about their religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen, too. Mm, I had some other questions. Sure. You know what? I could go through and we could find out all about the stuff. If you care, look it up. We're just gonna jump into this blind. Alright, let's go, I'm ready. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight level. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masters. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. I'm ready to go to Zion. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. Yes, I am. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. Yay! The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. 
Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk, said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar, so he forbade anyone from speaking his name, wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared, and in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. So, um, yeah, I've made it slightly further than this, so I knew that. We'll be... All right, people, been a long couple of weeks, but here we are, Zion. I know your feet hurt, I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip Boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality. Come on, did. come on. Who cares no if we time can't to get waste. back out the way we come? That's not a problem. So I'm gonna come join the guards. You know, the people with armor. Whoa! Okay, that guy's dead. Uh, you had stuff. Whoa. And that means Ricky. Shut the hell up, Ricky. Might as well be waving at him. Oh, there goes his eyeball. Recharger pistol, yes. That is what I wanted. Don't you die on me, woman. I don't see where they are. Well. Ah. Uh, well. Yeah, I'm gonna. Just say it now. There's no way to save them. Back. Okay, we're getting low on health, so... Let's take a few healing items. Thin red paste, yes. Uh, 
That didn't look like awkward positioning or anything. Okay, we're pretty well back up to full. Oh, oops. So yeah, we got a nice set of guns and weapons again. Sudden glasses, we must keep those at max. Uh, we have a set of leather armor we could wear, or we could wear... The White Lake Hide Armor. So for the time being, we'll wear this. We've only got two grenades left, and then I'm gonna toss this thing. Yeah, I don't need a laser rifle. Or a 10mm submachine gun. Or even a 10mm pistol, for that matter. We got a revolver. Actually, the pistol I might want. No, I'll be fine. So, recharge your pistol. I'm going to show you what this thing does. You see how the ammo we have is going up? Hoy, white legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Who is this Joshua? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. Guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. All right, I'll, let's go. Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. So, yeah, this thing will recharge ammo over time, which is why I love it. It's just like the recharger other thing. Uh, he was helping us. He was going to... I think he's actually the one who killed this guy. Ammo. Actually, maze. I think we're at full health, but we still have damaged limbs. Dr. Spag. Hold up. See that log over there? Crap, mate. Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. Nothing I want. So, hang on. Let's give you guys a nice... Yeah. This? We follow this path for a while. Nice view of the river. Yeah. Bring it. Whew. That was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> Don't get used to it, though. Yaogwai are plenty mean as a rule. You can take the path north here if you want, or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff, if you want to look. Nah, let's just follow the marker. Fruit. So, yeah. I don't like having that much of our leg showing. I'm sorry, viewer. It may have less arm or less damage threshold, but you know what? It's one, and I think we can handle it. Follow the old road south, nearly there. So yeah, we will make it to their camp this time, and that will be it. See the dead sentries? Shamans say our enemy's souls But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs.
Yeah, this thing recharges pretty quickly as long as you don't rapid fire like that. It's a potato. Potato, 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 potato. See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Good thing. I could just go in even if you don't. It's a park ranger hat. Ammo, that's always nice. Cooking beans. Fire! We can make more rushing water if we want. Um, maybe later. Down this path to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. Yeah, that's the reason I didn't buy it earlier, though, the, for the recharger pistol, is because... These show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. No kidding, he's the Graham. The one person who actually stands a chance of, you know, holding their own against me. In terms of, or against our character, in terms of, you know, tactical planning. Let's just take all of it. You never know when we might need some of it. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow, eh? Okay, what is our EXP gauge at? Oh, we are just a few hundred away. There are fish here. Like actual fish. Uh, no, don't drink the water. You don't know what's in there. I mean, there are bear traps in this water. How do you know what else is in here? That looks like a fresh plant. Where did our guide? There he is. Here we are. Joshua's just ahead there in the angel cave. That's the dead horse camp. Two bears high fiving. Ah. Uh, that was... My last character didn't have the Wild Wasteland perk, so that didn't happen last time. That was odd, but nice. So, yeah, we're going to save over an old file again. And next time on Let's Play Fallout New Vegas Honest Hearts, we meet the, Lee, the former Legion of the uh, Legion Army. I like this guy. I hope you will too, viewer. Until then, I'm Plasma Void. Remember to have fun out there, and I'll see you next time.